exciting superstars. Happy Saturday and thank you for voting. I can't thank you enough. Last week you guys voted on the topics that you wanted to hear and flying changes, it won. So we did that for you a few days ago and the feedback's been amazing. Thank you so much. I've had so much fun helping you with all of these and filling in the gaps. But a really close runner up and I think I'm really excited to see that it was a close runner up was the training scale. So when I saw that, I thought, right, I'm gonna do a training scale module for everybody. And I've done it now, but when I did it and I got in talking about it and I wanted to make it that you really had a fundamental understanding that it was really, really intricate and in depth and it could fill in the gaps for people that know what the training scale is and wanna make their changes better or their half pass better, but also educate someone that knew nothing about it and that both those sorts of people could watch it alike and really, really get something out of it. So I've created that for you and that's gonna come out in two episodes, two 30 minute episodes, next Saturday and the Saturday after. But what I realized there needed to be in front of that was also what is the training scale and why should you watch those episodes? So today, that's what I'm going to do. Today, I'm gonna to tell you all about, in a nutshell, why you need to watch those two videos, no matter where in your writing career you are. So first of all, what is the training scale? The training scale is ultimately the food pyramid of dressage. Do you guys remember the food pyramid when you were, when you were kids? You know, eat your veggies most and eat your sugars the least. That's the same with the training scale. It's focus on the basics most and play with collection the least. So it's this scale or this pyramid or this mantra that the best riders in the world follow. And it doesn't matter if it's a top German or a top Dutch rider or a top British rider or a top Australian or a top Spanish rider. They all have their ways and their individual ways and individual systems of getting the horse to Grand Prix. But everybody is based around this mantra. Everybody is based around this system of the way of doing things. And it's the training scale. What is it? What is it made up of? Rhythm, suppleness, connection, and rhythm plus suppleness will equal connection, impulsion, straightness, and collection, and impulsion plus your straightness will give you collection. That is the training scale in a nutshell. But what does that actually mean? It's like these words, throughness, over the back, in front of the leg, what do all these words mean? We go have the idea of what they mean, but we really don't understand. That is what those next episodes are all about. I'm going to answer those questions that we're too afraid to ask. You know, when we start writing, our, our coaches say, make them more through, make them more over the back. And there comes a point where you think, I've been writing for 10 years. I know what they're meaning, but I don't really know what it actually means. And we're too afraid to ask. We're too afraid to stand up and go, I actually don't know what that means. That's what those next two episodes are all about. I'm going to teach you what they mean and how they relate to the training scale. The training scale, if you can understand it properly, is what will get you and your horse to whatever level you're capable of. So if you've got a Grand Prix horse and you, a horse that's talented enough to do Grand Prix and you follow the training scale, meaning you understand I'm doing a half pass, the rhythm's changed, where to go to from there. The training scale understanding will teach you that. You'll find that out. Understanding that when you want PF, it's just going to happen once you are through the training scale. And you'll see this little tiny video of me here. I'm on Wessel, this is a great little one. I've got no spurs on, I've got no shoes, no proper riding boots on, and you have to excuse me, it was purposely for this little bit of video just to point, point out a, a fact. And watch him, you watch him now. So we're walking along, we make the walk 
smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and oh, he piaffs. No spurs, no kicking, no whip. It's just simply, very, very simply, the culmination of the training scale. So there, he's rhythmic, he's supple, therefore he's connected. I've then impulsed him by making his steps smaller, kept him very straight so he's upright, and then, let's click back to it, Phil. Walk, 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 piaf. Oh my God, how easy is that? It's that easy. It really, really is. It's the most easy, amazing thing that you can do if you're patient and you understand it. But you have to understand it. I did two 30-minute videos on it that you're going to see next week. One of them is around the rhythm, the suppleness and the connection. The other is all about impulsion, straightness and collection. I did two 30-minute segments and I tell you what, I could do a whole day seminar. I used to be frustrated. I used to not be able to get up the levels. I used to not be able to figure out what's going on. I'd go to a different coach, they'd give me a different answer and I'd be so confused and frustrated. It wasn't until I threw my toys out of the pram one day and went, right, I'm gonna figure this out properly. And I got some formal education and I found out what it was. As soon as I understood the training scale properly, it didn't matter where I went. It didn't matter what coach I went to, they all basically had the same feedback for me because in a, because I was basically riding in a good way. Understanding that training scale takes all of that confusion out for you. And I'm hopefully going to be able to pass that on to all of you and give you guys a bit of a fast track and hopefully you don't have to work as hard as I did to finally understand it and get it. Someone said to me recently, Alicia, why with the flying change video? Because that is ultimately just around the training scale. Why was I never taught that? Why? Why? And I've got to say, guys, to be fair to coaches out there, they have 45 minutes to teach you something. You're on the horse. There's so many other things to talk about. You know, are you afraid? Are you half falling off? Does your horse not want to go into the arena? It's very, very difficult for a coach in a traditional way to get this information to you. That's where I've got this amazing platform to be able to give you this theory and give you this knowledge here in real life. So guys, get in there, put in some comments down the bottom. Give me a hell yeah if you're feeling exactly the same. And I can't wait to share all of this with you. Watch this segment next Saturday and the Saturday after 30 minute blocks, purely in depth about the training scale. 30 minutes, full on, integral, but easy to listen to and easy to understand. Look at Wessel, look at his little PF, me with no spurs, pop over there again, Phil, you see that? I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that for you, okay? Write in the comments things you wanna hear. Write in the comments ideas for the channel. If you like this voting system for picking your own topic, I wanna to keep that coming. But what I need from you is to help me subscribe. Get more subscribers so that I can help you make your writing dreams come true. I can't wait to talk to you guys. I can't wait to see you. Keep your messages coming. I love answering them and I take great pride in the fact we do. I will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend, bye.